Hi everybody, this is Carol Hill. Today is February 5th, 2017. And today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about the Family Search mobile app. So let's get started. Okay, we have got, I'm gonna make this a little bigger so you can see it. So this is my phone. I have a Samsung Galaxy S7. And so it's an Android and you may actually have an Apple phone, but either one, you can download this Family Tree app. So for me, before I get started and show you the app, I wanted to show you that right here is the Play Store for Android. So this is what you're gonna do if you're on an Android. It's this little Play Store symbol right there. And you go there, let me show you. You just click on that. And then, I already have this up, but this will come up typically like this, Google Play. You will just click there and start typing family search tree is what you want to type in and you will see this little icon that's what you want to look for here on the left hand side is the icon of family search so that will bring you to family search and then you can just let me show you if i click on that mine says uninstall because it's not in i mean it is installed on my phone when when you first see this for the first time it will say install so you just click on that to install it so i'm going to go ahead and go back to my home screen so I can show you, once you have it installed, it will look like this. See how it says family tree and there's the little family tree search icon. Let's go ahead and click on that. And this will bring up the app. It's a little bit different in, on the iPhone. Um, instead of having this up here at the top, it's gonna be at the bottom. But right now what we're looking at is our pedigree view. And this is me right in the middle. If I wanna look at myself, I can go ahead and click on me. And what's really nice is this brings up my vital information right here. If I click on spouses, it'll bring up my spouse. I don't know why that did that. And I've got two of them, but they're the same names. That may happen if you're living. I can bring up my parents. This shows my parents. And if I scroll down, also my siblings and as you can see below you could add a sibling or add your parents if you didn't have that there it'll bring up any sources i might have which i don't because i'm living so and then on memories this shows some different memories that i have some pictures some stories that i put in myself and then there's the charts which are different charts that you can view and ordinances which aren't available because I'm living also. So that is just if you click on anybody in your tree, you will you will be able to go to that person and see everything that's actually on Family Search too. And let me show you a feature. Well, let me show you on this left hand side. If you click, if this is called a little hamburger menu because it looks like a hamburger. So if you click on that, this will show you some other things that you can do, which we're not gonna talk about in this. I wanted to maybe show this in my next, next lesson. So let's go ahead and go back to the pedigree. Another thing you can do when you first come in too is if you just wanna search and find a certain ancestor, you can click the search button. And it's the same as in Family Search, you can find by the name or find by the ID and all you would do is just put the information in here and then see if we scroll down. Oh, you just click find up here on the right hand side and then it'll go and try to find that person on family search. So let's go back on the arrow. And then this is really helpful too. If you click this little um, arrow, what this does, it shows you your history list. So people that you have been working on and looking at and I wanted to show you this one, this Clifton Caswell George, I just had him up and I was looking at information and on him, and there's one other thing I wanted to show you on this. Well, let me show you a couple things I was just thinking. I don't know why it keeps doing that. <laughs> I wanted to show you on the memories, how, see this down here at the bottom, this little green circle with the plus you can click there and you can actually I can take I can select an image I can select it from the gallery or I can select it from family search and also when I click this plus there's also you can add the photo 
record an audio or write a story. So that's awesome that 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 you can do that. Just right from your phone. That's what's really exciting is right from your phone. The other thing I wanted to show you, because this hasn't been here that long, I don't think. There's these little three dots on this right hand side. And if you click that, it'll show you to view this tree. And what this does is this comes back and puts him in the main position. You know, I was there before and it puts him in that main position. Let me click on that on him again so we can go back to show you what these other little dots are. So this has descendants with tasks. You can actually search for records right from here. Do possible duplicates, refresh him, watch him if people are making a lot of changes, view your relationship, download memories, and also delete the person. So what I wanted to show you really quick is um, this descendants with tasks. So this comes up, it took a minute because I did this earlier, this comes up with this Carlton Randolph George and it shows that there's a record hint. So you all you have to do is click on this little record hint and then click here and what it does is it brings up information about him, his death, the event, where it was and you what you can do is review this down here in the left hand corner, click on review and what this does is it brings up how to attach this source to him just right here in your mobile app. And this works on a tablet or also on the iPad. And of course, it's probably not going to come up. <laughs> it did work earlier. Oh, there's an error. I guess family search might be too busy. So let, let me close that really quick. Um, let's try that one more time just to see if we can get it to work. Okay, I'm going to put review. Let's see, usually it comes up pretty fast, so if it doesn't this time, then I'll show this another time. Okay, here we go. So this is a record. All right, it was starting to. Okay, so over here on the left-hand side is the Florida Death Index, and over here is the Carlton Randolph George that we were looking at before, and it's it's asking you if this is the same person. So what you can do, what you'd want to do actually is click on details here and so this brings up on the left hand side is the record and it's 4th of December 1942 is when he was born and then he died 21st of March 1918. And if you look on the right hand side this is family tree. So just make sure you realize that the family tree is on the right and you can look up at the top Florida death the record that you're looking at is over here on the left. So we can say, oh yeah, this is the same person. And right here, you can click on the little paper clip and you can go ahead and attach this source to this Carlton Randolph. And you can come down here and just say that this is, the reason that we're going to attach the source is this is his death record. So it really proves his death and then all we do is select attach and that will we can go back in and find him attached to that person and if you want I don't know if it's back yet we can go ahead and close that close this right here but anyway I just wanted to show you that and let me know if you have questions and I hope you'll try the app out it's getting better and better all the time and you almost don't need your computers anymore so anyway, let me know if you have questions. Have a great day.